Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your Canon PowerShot V10 photos and videos onto your Mac, PC, and phone. The first way is to use the cable that comes with the camera. Connect one end of the cable to the computer and the other end to the camera. You should see the light indicating that it's charging and it has power. Next, open the Photos app. This is just one of the two ways in this video for the Mac. Open the Photos app. Now you can turn on the camera and you will see this. The Photos app will detect that the V10 is connected. You could select all new items or specific items to be imported. You could also delete items after import. I'll import all new items. For photos, the import time is fast. For videos, the import time is slow. Connecting with the cable, you would need to turn off the camera to eject. As you can see in the Photos app, the V10 is now gone and you are now free to unplug the camera. You could now export the photos and videos that you wish. For me, I am exporting all unmodified to my external drive. Let me go ahead and organize this one second. Next method is to remove the memory card of the camera and insert it into the reader or the computer. I'll insert it into the computer. By using the memory card, this time the computer will detect it without needing to go through the Photos app. You can click on it and select DCIM, then 100 Canon. There you can see the photos and videos. Here, you can select what you want and drag them out to wherever you want. When you're done, you want to eject. You could eject when there's a card inserted into the computer. Eject. Let's move on to a PC. And of course, you can use the cable and connect one end of the cable to the computer and the other end to the camera. And again, you will see the light indicating that it has power and charging. Turn on the camera and you should see the computer icon with the battery over it. Next, hit Start and File Explorer. You should now see Canon PowerShot V10 as a drive. Click on it, click on the drive. DCIM 100 Canon. There you go. You can see the photos and videos. I'll go ahead and create a new folder and drag them over. Select what you want and drag them over. There you go. Let's take a look at the photos and videos that I transferred over. Checking to see if there's audio. When you use the cable to connect the camera, you will not be able to find the eject option anywhere. You would have to turn off the camera. There you go, the V10 is now gone. 
Therefore, you can now unplug the camera. Next method is to use the memory card and insert it into the computer or a reader. Remove the card. Use the adapter if you need to. Insert it into a reader or into the computer. There you can see Canon DC Drive E. Select it. DCIM and 100 Canon. And there you can see the photos and videos. I'll drag them over to the same location. Obviously, I would get this message. I'll go ahead and delete the files that I did in method 1 and drag them over. There they go. And let's take a look at the files. You could now eject, since there's a memory card in the computer. Right-click and eject. And there you go. You could now remove the card and put it back into the camera. And now for the phone. This method will transfer the files wirelessly you want to make sure you have the app called Canon Camera Connect. Since I have it installed already, I'm just going to open it. If you have not paired or connected to the camera, you want to hit the top left icon, the Camera Plus icon, and register the PowerShot V10. Once it's connected, you want to turn on the camera. Then select Import Movies. And wait a little bit. Sometimes it will disconnect. Just redo and wait. Join. You could select multiple images or all of them. By selecting this check mark icon, oh, my apologies for the blurriness, and then import. You could mess with the settings here. I would leave everything as is if you're going to view your photos and videos on here on your phone. It would quickly transfer the photos, but slowly the videos. You could open the photo app here. Let's take a look at the photos and videos I have transferred over. Everything looks good. You could see the audio is muted. That's all I pretty much have. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And thank you for watching. I hope you come back for more videos.